I'm Mitch from Beyond the Woods, and today I'm going to compare the Line 6 Helix and the Line 6 Pod HD when they're dialed in to model the exact same thing. Let's get into it. My goal with this video is to help you decide if the Helix is worth the money over the Pod HD, but the only thing I'm taking a look at is how they sound. Of course, there are many, many other factors that contribute to the price difference between them. I'm not going to say since the Helix costs three times more, it should sound three times better, because obviously it's not quite as simple as that. However, I think we can all agree that there should be a noticeable difference in the sound department, so that's what I'm taking a look at today. If you want to compare features and functions between the Pod HD and the Helix, you can mostly Google that for yourself, or if you have any other questions, you can ask them down in the comments. But my goal with this video is to provide you with information that isn't out there already. I'm using an HD 500 for this, shout out to my boy Zach for making that happen, but this sounds identical to every other Pod HD unit out there, regardless of whether that's a floorboard like this one, a rack mount, a desktop bean thing, or if it's an X series, regardless, they all sound identical. It's all a bunch of other stuff that makes them different products, you can look that up if you're interested, of course. With the Helix, I'm using a floorboard unit, but of course that sounds identical to the rack model as well. Let me preface this by saying that if you came to this video hoping to hear the greatest tones that I can dial in out of both units, you'll probably be disappointed because that's not what I did. I know it's sort of weird that I would put out a video that I could make sound better, but that's just not what I was trying to do. For the sake of a fair comparison, I'm leaving both units at starting point settings so you can hear how they sound when they're trying to model the exact same thing, and sometimes that probably won't sound very pleasing to you. Obviously, both units can be dialed in to sound awesome, as many, many other people have done already, but that's not very helpful in my opinion to really hear how these two units differ. When they're both set to do the exact same thing, we can more accurately determine the real differences between them, and if the Helix is just inherently better than the Pod HD, that should be evident even at basic starting point settings. First, I'll be comparing just their amp models by running them into the same cabinet impulses loaded up in my DAW. After that, I will run the exact same amp models at the exact same settings, but switching around the cabinet impulses to those inside the units, the stock impulses, instead of my own personal collection. Then, I'll dig into effects running alongside my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, I'll have some distortions and modulation going into the front end of the amp, and reverbs and delays in the effects loop.
right, so this next part will be identical to what you just heard. Same performances, same amps, same settings and everything. I am just switching over to the stock Camden impulses instead of using my own personal collection of impulses that I had loaded up in my DAW. Of course, the same differences that you just heard with the amp model comparison will be applicable here. So make sure to apply that as you listen into these, um, as you hear these stock Camden impulses introduced. Now over to the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe to compare some effects. It is mic'd up with an SM57. Here is the completely bypassed tone.
I've now moved both units over to the effects loop of the Hot Rod Deluxe so we can compare time-based effects, reverbs, and delays. There isn't a whole lot of tasteful playing going on here just because I didn't want to fill up the time, but I really want to allow you to hear the complexities of the reverb and delay tail. So it's a lot of chord hits, a lot of sustained chords, just so you can really clearly hear um, if there's a quality gap between them as far as just the reverbs and delays go.
Of course, these videos can be no substitute for you actually sitting down with either one of these units and really seeing if it works for your style, if you can dial it in to get the sounds that you have in your head. I'm not acting like this video will be any sort of substitute, but the Helix, in most instances, I really do prefer when it comes to amp and cab models. For the most part, I think it just does sound more realistic when we talk about, you know, the deluxe reverb having a bit more hair on it, the AC30 having a bit more top end grit and chime. But some of the models on the Pod HD, it's not really a better or worse thing in my opinion. I think it really is just a difference. I think the Pod HD really does hold its own. It's just a different sort of flavor. It usually doesn't have quite as much low end or beef to it, but um, depends on the kind of user you are. I personally prefer the dual rectifier in the Pod HD quite a bit more um, than I did in the Helix, um, but the angle fireball in the Helix definitely went out for me. I don't know. Um, it's kind of up to you. I mean, your interpretation is just as valid as mine is because you're listening to the same stuff that I am. Um, yeah, I think that just about does it. If you want to see more content like this, if you want to check out my series where I compare um, Fractal Audio's products to the Helix, um, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll have a lot more comparisons and amp modeling content coming your way in the future. Like this video, do your thing. I don't know. I'm Mitch from Beyond the Woods, and uh, thank you for watching.